it's Kristen and I have as promised a bonus Sunday haul for you guys. Um, you know what's interesting is that I started to film this yesterday and it was, I was going to do one of those where I filmed a partial and then went to work and then filmed the rest of the next day. But I felt like I was so all over the place and I kind of rushed myself through it that um, I decided to restart and I don't, I normally don't do that. Um, but I just, I had stories that I wanted to tell <laughs> and things that I wanted to say and I didn't want to feel rushed so this is probably going to be a long one, so I hope that you saw that by the amount of time that it shows when you're looking at the video and have grabbed a cup of coffee or tea or whatever beverage you would like. And um, let's just have some time to share and talk and that sort of thing. So here we go, non-rushed haulage. <laughs> so um, as you guys know, I went to New York and it was very um, exciting and whirlwind. <laughs> and wow, that city has a lot of energy. It's almost exhausting just being in the city. I, I don't really know how to explain it, but um, it was it was an amazing experience. I, I enjoyed every minute. I was there with my friend Paul from college, and I just want to say a quick thank you again to him for being my tour guide. I would not have seen as much of the city as I had seen if it weren't for him. He, he lived there for eight years. He doesn't live there any longer, but it was so good to spend some time with him. And like I said, he showed me the city, and it was... It was it was amazing. Um, so I'm I'm good. I'm going to kind of go chronologically, but before I get into the things that I hauled or that I purchased while I was there, there are a couple of things I want to show you that I got before. Um, and this the the first one is this, and I'm showing you this because I took it with me when I traveled for work. I was traveling a couple weeks ago for work all week, and then back a week, and then I went to New York. And this I bought, I don't even there's no name brand on it even. I bought it at HSN, and so I'll find it and link it for you below. Um, and you know it's, what's funny is that Melissa Prada she bought one like the very same day that I did and we were telling each other about it after the fact we didn't even know the other one was buying it but so this is a travel mirror that opens up like this and you can sit it up like this so it has a large magnification up here and then it has this one right here that is lit. It's got a little push button here. This thing is amazing. The only thing that I wish is that I wish that the regular mirror was up top and that this this one was the 10 times magnification. But um, I just, whenever I'm traveling, I flip over the ice bucket and I put it on this to add a little height to it and it works perfectly. Um, and she had a little travel mirror with hers. I did not get a little travel mirror. but So I loved this. The only thing is, I mean, this can be double as a weapon because it's heavy. <laughs> but it worked. It works really, really well. So I just thought I would give that a quick mention. As far as I know, it's still on HSN. I don't know, but I'll find it link below for you. If I do want to say that I checked that in my luggage on both trips, so many planes, on and off, that sort of thing. And while I did sandwich it kind of in a sweatshirt, it didn't break or anything, so obviously. All right, the next thing I want to show you is that I had placed another order with Seth from Sethkins, whom I'll talk about again in a minute, either here or on the vlog, I'm not sure where. But um, I wanted to get another one of the Armani quads. So this, it came at some point in between filming my last haul and this one. This is the one in number 12, and I'll give you a little close-up. So there it is, and the swatches. I just really enjoyed the first one that I purchased so much. I have it right here, let me just see. In number two, that I thought I wanted to get something with a little bit different um, shades in it, and I actually let Seth pick one. All right, so there are the shades right there. Real, just really, really pretty. And something just a little bit different, a little springy. At some point I was, I was gonna say at some point I was in a Sephora in New York. I was in a lot of Sephoras. My friend Paul could tell you, he, he thinks he was in every Sephora known to man. But it's funny, when you meet up with different people, that's what they, everybody wants to do together, is makeup shop, right? So, um, Bonnie um, from Bonster, I can't remember what her numbers are, but I'll link it below. She's been talking about this um, Bobbi Brown Art Stick in Bright Raspberry. And I, I really was like, oh, I feel like I need that. Kind of looks like what I have on my lips today, but it's not. Oh, it's pinker. Um, and so that's what it looks like. I've not tried any of these. This is a really chubby pencil and it does come with a with its own sharpener, which is good because I pulled it out and was like, hmm, how am I gonna sharpen that? And then lastly but not least, this came back into stock and so I ordered it up right away. I heard lots of people talk about it and I think Emily was the one that I saw do a full review on it. It's the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Nude Lip. So there are several products in here and the only one I'm not going to swatch, I'm going to save this for a giveaway because I already have this product, is the Nude Sticks Lip and Cheek in Whisper. So I'm going to set that right here. I have my double ended one that has Whisper on it. So there is Whisper. One of the things when I filmed this yesterday, yesterday is that I didn't swatch this and I just don't know what the point of a haul is without a swatch. Alright, the next thing was in here is the NARS Lipstick in Dolce Vita. 
I have to tell you, I've heard so many people talk about this, but I'm not impressed. It's very sheer. Maybe that's how it's supposed to be? I'm not really sure. Not familiar with this particular formula. It also has one of the Tardis lip paints in Namaste in here, which is right here. And I'm, I'm curious about that. I've, I've been 50-50. One of the lip paints I loved and one of them I did not at all. The one in Hangry didn't work for me. Um, this is the came with a Marc Jacobs liner in Plum... I think it's called Plum Rose. It's called Primrose. <laughs> and it's right there. Good. My swatches always get smaller. I don't understand why I do that. And then there's a Laura Mercier in Milky Way. And this, I don't know about this for me at all either. But we'll see. It's pretty nude. So that, that is the give me some nude lip kit. So that's all of the things that I purchased beforehand. Now, um, the very first thing that <laughs> legitimately that we did, my plane was a little bit late getting in. Paul picked me up at the airport, went to the hotel. We dropped our bags and ran right back out the door because I had planned to meet with um, David. And if you guys have heard me talk about David before, he is an Estee Lauder makeup artist. He works at Bergdorf on 5th. Um, in New York City and we met there and it was just so nice to finally put a person with a name and a voice and a face. You know what? It's hard to really explain. Um, you really feel like you know this person but then you finally get to be with them. It's, it's just something, it's really neat. So um, he was gracious enough to kind of take me around the cosmetic area at Bergdorf and then we went on this kind of makeup tour of New York City, some of his favorite places of to purchase makeup and that sort of thing. Um, so the, I'm going to show you the goodies that I got at Bergdorf. I actually had them shipped here, so I didn't have to bring them home. One of the things that he had set aside for me that I already had on hold was a new fragrance that I, as soon as he sent me the sample of it, it wasn't out yet, I was like, yes, I need that. This is summer. This is, smells like summer to me. Um, it's a new fragrance by Erin, and it's Mediterranean Honeysuckle. So if you've heard me talk before, you know that I love Honeysuckle. By the way, I should tell you that... David wanted me to call this Holly's Hall because he calls me Holly. <laughs> and if you ever see his comments on my Instagram or something like that, it always starts out with Holly with exclamation points. He, uh, there's a tag video I did a while back where I said, you know, when I was younger and used to like play school or house or whatever, I always made people call me Holly. And so therefore he calls me Holly. So this is what the gorgeous little bottle, not little, but this is what the gorgeous bottle looks like. I have the Erin Fragrance in Lilac Path and love that and, and love this one just as much. It's just, it really has a nice, well obviously it smells like honeysuckle. I don't know what else. Okay, I found what it says. It says, escape to the sun-drenched sun -drenched Azure Blue Mediterranean. Sweet honeysuckle and sparkling grapefruit, oh I do smell grapefruit, take you there, evoking lush flowers and shimmering beaches. Italian bergamot, sun warmed and citrus, sun warmed and citrusy, and mandarin oil in part lasting freshness. Lily of the valley and lush gardenia build up to the sensuality and richness of jasmine. Sandback, I'm not familiar with that. Absolute, a fragrance as as magical and elegant as its inspiration. So there you go. It smells like summer. That's really that's really the easiest way to say it. Okay. Uh, there's a foundation that I kind of recently found out that that Estee Lauder had, and I really wanted to to try and so it's a, it's a more one of their more expensive foundations but David said this is his favorite foundation ever like to use on people so this is the ultra radiance makeup from Estee Lauder the Renew Tree line I'm in the shade 1C1 cool bone and that looks like this the packaging is really beautiful so I don't have much more to say I only wore it once I was wearing it yesterday when I attempted to film but I wore something else different today because you know um, I'll report back then I I finally, I wanted to see the Charlotte Tilbury, oh, as I drop it, bron highlight and bronze, I think that's what it's called, bronze and glow in person. Unfortunately, the one that she picked out for me after I said that I wanted it was the medium, which is this one, and I need the light. So I need to do a little exchange on that, but that's no problem. And then I also picked out a new item from Charlotte Tilbury. I don't even know if it's new. It's new to me. And this is the Color Chameleon in Bronzed Garnet. It says it's for green eyes, but, you know, <laughs> you can, whatever eye color can wear it. So just a really beautiful, beautiful bronze shade and very smooth, very creamy. So some fun things to play with there. And they had a Le Mercier Debuté counter, which I don't normally get to see in person. I don't even know where the closest one is to me. Maybe Chicago. And they have these a new product in, let me see what it's called, Indelible Eye Prism Ombre Brilliance Polychrome. And I got the shade in Angora, so it looks like this. It has a doe foot applicator. 
and then it looks like that. And I just wanted something kind of like what I was talking about, that spring tag, with something just sheer that you could pair with whatever lip that you wanted. And let me just blend it out a little bit. And there are bunches of different shades. I almost got the tilt, but I, I held off. And lastly, but certainly not least, is a, a lipstick. I have things falling over here. It's a lipstick that uh, David is, says it's his favorite lipstick in his collection. Uh, and this is by YSL. And actually, let me grab the box here. It's the Rouge Pure Couture The Mattes. And this is in the shade 208 Fuchsia. Fuchsia Fetiche. So <laughs> it's one of these. It is what I'm wearing on my lips today. And it is stunning. It's so pretty. It's an, I wore it yesterday as well because I had it on in the video, you know. Anyway, I wore it yesterday as well. And it wears really well. It does, I would say by maybe, th I applied it three times and I didn't re-lip line the last time. I felt like it bled just the tiniest of bit, but not a lot. And after that many applications, it doesn't surprise me. So, um, but stunning. I mean, absolutely <laughs> stunning. And um, I think it makes my blue eyes pop just a little bit. So really, really, um, I'm happy with this purchase. He, it, it was limited edition, I guess gone and now it's back. I don't know if it's permanent, but if you're interested in this at all, you should definitely check it out. It was gift with purchase with Estee Lauder. So I got this really nice bag. It's a really good size bag. And inside of it actually had a full size. I got some flyer about it, which is how I knew this was coming. Um, I think it might be a Bergdorf gift with purchase. I don't know how long it's going, but if it's still going on, I will um, list David's information below you and you can you can get on that. So it came with a full size of the Estee Lauder Little Black Primer, which as you guys know I like for mascara that transfers. I will put this over the top of it actually rather than like as a primer and it works perfectly. And it also has a sample size of that. And then it came with some of the Renutrief product. I tried this. This is the, the cleanser, the hydrating cream cleanser. It also came with, and you guys know that this is fine, I don't love this, and it's really expensive. So it's a nice, it's a really nice sample size of the Ultimate Lift Age Correcting Cream. And then, I've not tried this, this is the Ultimate Lift Eye Correct, Correcting Eye Cream. So a little sample size of that. Uh, one of the, a single shadow in Insulate Ivory, which is just, it's a pure color envy um, formula. And then another little mini, which I love these minis. And this is the, of the, and I love this lipstick formula as well. This is in Defiant Coral. I don't know that I have any shades like this, although I mean, it's kind of like impassioned, only a little more orange, I think, but it's a really pretty shade. So I love me a mini lipstick. So David also had some goodies um, for me that he had kind of um, set, the, set to the side and gifted for me. And one of them is, I'm just really excited to use this. It looks so pretty. It's by Bobbi Brown. I did tell him that I'm not sure how anything could top that Bobbi Brown illuminating pink powder thing that oh that's so pretty anyway this is uh the nude finish illuminating powder so it's in this sort of nude packaging and it looks like that and i'm not i'm not familiar with this i hadn't heard about that at all i mean give me a, a full size of the eye opening mascara from bobby brown i've not tried that this is kind of a, a larger package kind of like the super sizer from covergirl feels like that and then three masks from bobby brown as i'm dropping them all over the place the skin nourish mask the radiance boost and then the instant detox get a sample of a le metier debuté um like i think it was a tinted moisturizer i have to look up i'll list it below for you or maybe i'll just wait until i actually try it and then i'll tell you what it is um but that was in here as well and then also from david a lipstick from bobby brown and this is an almost pink the formula isn't listed on here, but it's like a really pretty kind of throw in your purse, wear at any point in time shade. So thank you again to David for those goodies. And then before I move on with what we did that day, I wanted to show you a couple of things that um, Seth had brought me. So on Saturday night, um, Seth from Sethican 7, who you guys have heard me talk about before, he worked all day on Saturday. And he works at a Saks in the Philly area. And he, as you guys know, he's where I purchased all my Armani products from him. And I have watched him since before I was on YouTube. I have watched him since he was in his dorm room. And if any of you guys have watched him as long as I have, or even over the last couple of years, you have seen the amazing transformation that he has made inside and outside from then until now. I feel like, and it's funny because he describes it the same way, I feel like a big sister to him. I feel um, 
I don't know. I feel like a big sister to him is the best way I can explain it. And to find that he would take the time to come all the way into the city to hang with me for a few hours. And then we were together till, I don't know, maybe about midnight, midnight 30, something like that. And then he drove all of the couple of hours all the way home. And I just am so touched by the fact that he would take the time to, to do that. I, I can't, I can't, even, <laughs> I can't even, I, uh, and I'll talk about some of that as far as um, my meetup and that sort of thing and how that touched me as well in my vlog video that will, I'm not sure if I'm going to put that up on this channel or on my vlog channel, but it's coming up at some point. But, um, to get to, to shop at Sephora with him and just spend some time with him was amazing. It, it just really was amazing. It, it, it meant so much to me. So anyway, when he came, he brought me a couple of um, Armani goodies. Um, and, and again, I will list this information below. I know that so many people really prefer, and I've said this before, I realize. I know that so many people prefer to just order online and no human contact. <laughs> and I just don't, I will never get that. I guess that's just the, the extrovert in me. But um, I would rather call somebody that I know has knowledge. And he has such a wide base of knowledge, just like David of many different brands, high-end, drugstore, that sort of thing, that I would rather call and get an opinion on something than just order online, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, this is, see, this is why this video is going to be really long, because I can't, I can't stop. But So he knows that I like the Armani eye tints, and he brought me um, this one that he had in number three. Isn't that pretty? And the ones that I have are obviously very neutral, so this is the first sort of non-neutral shade. And I'm going to just, I'm going to build this up just a little bit so you can really see the shade, but so pretty. And you can do just a sheer wash of color, or you can build it up a little bit. I really, you guys know I've talked, <laughs> I've talked the eye tints to death probably, but, um, and then this, when I swatched this yesterday, I wish you could see my first reaction again to this yesterday. The Ecstasy Lacquer in 505. And the packaging looks like this, which is just beautiful. When I saw, like I said, when I swatched this, I was like, whoa. If I can find the footage, maybe I'll stick it in That's there. That's just one swipe of that. Isn't that pretty? So, so, so pretty. So I've not had any of these. I can't really speak to the formula, how they perform or anything like that, but I will definitely let you know. And then the last thing that he um, brought for me was, he sent me a sample of this, and I haven't even tried the sample yet because it just came before I left. But it's a, the Maestro UV Skin Defense Sunscreen. Or it's a primer with sunscreen in it. And it's SPF 50. It's got a little dropper thing here, so I'm excited to play around with that. And thank you again to both David and Seth for your time, for, um, you know, the gifts, and just for your friendship. For the record, that's wiped off. And that's a gloss. That's crazy. I will say, if this does get, end up getting too long, I may split it into two parts, because... <laughs> um, okay, so... After I was at Bergdorf, then David took me um, to a couple places. He took me to Ricky's, which I didn't get anything there, but Ricky's has a lot of like stage makeup and there's like Sugar Pill and Ben Eye, and they didn't have the palette I wanted to get, though. I wanted to get that um, Ben Eye palette that Kenny Johnson's talked about for years. And they didn't have, they weren't at IMATS either. But anyway, so we ended up going to Dwayne Reed. I'm going to put this down here so it's a little bit closer to me. At Dwayne Reed, um, I looked at some brands that I don't have, like, you know, in front of me on a regular basis. So the first thing I want to show you is this palette from Color Prevails. And I'm going to get this brush out of here. It does come with a little brush in the center. Um, it's like this. So I think that thing is like butterfly. So I'm not sure if that's supposed to, I, I really don't know. But these are the shades that are in it. And they're so, they're very cool toned. I think there were, I think we thought there were a couple to choose from and there weren't. So those are the top shades, which is Sand, Pebble, Chalk, and Jasper. That's one swipe of each of them. All I did was put them on my, that's pretty good. I'm, imp I'm impressed with that. I only have one product from Color Prevails and it's this kind of like loose powder that a subscriber had sent me a while back because my, my Walgreens does not have this. So I was at, by the way, I learned that Dwayne Reed from Paul, he was telling me that Dwayne Reed is named because the first one was in between the sweets, streets Dwayne and Reed, and the first one was up in that area, and um, then he took me to that area, so that was kind of cool. Anyway, um, fossil, rock, stone, and gravel, and there are those. So, as you will hear me say many times, I'm excited to play with those. 
<laughs> it's kind of bulky, but it's kind of fun. I purchased a couple of singles from Circa that look like this. They are the only things that dot, did not fare so well in the trip. So that tells me they're a little bit soft, which is fine. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. So this is the shade in Exceptional. Wait for it. When I swatched this yesterday, again, I was like, ooh, there you go. Exceptional. And I believe it to be <laughs> exceptional, at least in a swatch. I don't know how it performs. I think I was animated. Look at that. For real, I'm pretty. I feel like it looks a little bit lighter on my skin than it does in the pan. Maybe not. Anyway. They have this brand Girlactic there at Dwayne Reed, and I have heard these. I'm not sure where I've heard that name before, but I've heard that name before. And I, I, these are, this I would call more of a mid range. Cause I think this was like, I don't know, 14, $15, something like that. And this is the star shadow and penny really cool packaging. And there is the shade. This is really pretty. You guys, I swatched that and I was like, Oh yes, please. There you go. That is penny, right? Hmm. So, so, so pretty. So one of the sections of that of Dwayne Reed was the CoverGirl Queen collection, and we don't have that around here, so I wanted to kind of take a look at their shadows. I have heard, you know, other people talk about them, and actually I had texted a picture of one of these to Emily, and I was like, I think you need this, and she was like, I already have it. <laughs> well, you know, great taste, right? So this is the first one, and this is in um, bronze something, sorry, uh, desert bronze. Really, really... <laughs> Gorgeous shade. Not quite as pigmented as I thought they would be. I don't think that I swatched these yesterday. Actually a double swatch of all of them. So that's a little it's a little disappointing. I was hoping that they would be a little bit better, but what are you gonna do? The one in brass and sass. And there that is. That swatch a little bit better. That blue is a little bit tricky. It was just fun to see stuff that I don't you know I can't always see here. Um, and I think I have two more eyeshadow things. I, I, and I tried this out two days ago. I'll, I'll insert a picture. I used a pigment that I'm going to show you in a minute. And then this palette, um, and I put a picture up on Instagram. This is the Milani eyeshadow palette in earthy elements. So it looks like that. And this, I mean, I am, I'm really impressed with these. I think I've heard a couple of people talk about these. That's just a couple of the shades and they are really nice and they blended really well. The mattes blended really well. I tried those first and this shade on the end here. Hmm. I think maybe Ulta carries this brand Pop Beauty, but I've never seen these. These are the uh, Pure Pigment. I got the shade in matte green, which is right there. And it was, of all the ones that we swatched, it swatched the best and seemed the most interesting. So that is the one that I picked up. A couple of lip products, two things from the Queen line. This is the CoverGirl Queen Collection, and these are the Colorlicious. I got Plumberry and starlit sand and when I swatched these yesterday I was a little bit disappointed there's not a ton of pigment in either one of them smell especially delightful but so there is the plumberry and then the starlit sand so I picked up a couple of Milani um, lipsticks I only have one in naturally chic that I don't wear very often these smell kind of fruity um, so the shades that I picked up were plum rose rose and then ruby valentine so this is plum rose right here it's the first shade. It's a really pretty everyday sort of wearable shade, I would say. And something just a little bit deeper is the shade in rose. This one right there. And lastly is the one in Ruby Valentine. And that is, whoops, that shade <laughs> right there. And lastly, I purchased a shade from Essie and this is in Petal Pushers. It's a really pretty sort of dove gray, and I don't have a dove gray in my collection at all, and have really been wanting to wear a dove gray, so how many times can I say dove gray? And then lastly, are you guys appreciating the uh, sun rising behind me? <laughs> I just shut the, the window a little bit, and I feel like I'm delightfully backlit here. Um, okay, so we went to a store called Club Clio, and I had never heard of this store before, and I did check, and aside from one kind of grouping of things. Everything is online. So that's good. If there's something you end up wanting, you can certainly get it. Um, or if you live there, you can go get it. And this was, if you're in New York City, this was in Union Square, if I remember correctly. So that's the, the logo. That was, this is the bag that I got. I just thought I would show you guys that. So this was a Korean 
store makeup skincare that sort of thing so i didn't do much with the skincare except for i walked in and i saw masks and i beelined for the masks i actually told my friend tammy that i was like i'm gonna go make crazy miss tammy proud and i'm beelining my way to the masks so they had i'm not gonna show you all of these because obviously i had a bunch of them but they were two dollars a piece and buy 10 get five free and so i felt like it was necessary for me to get 15 because well, why wouldn't you? And then I got this Cherry Blossom Revitalizing Mask. I don't even know how many are in here. But anyway, they gave me this as like a lovely parting gift. I don't know. And then also they gave me as a like a sample sort of thing, this Dr. G Aquasis Water Soothing Gel Cream. Looks like that. I don't even know what it is. So I'm going to have to research that. Now. Onto the goodies. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is absolutely, I think, my favorite purchase of of the uh, whole truck, quite frankly. And this is something, this is a, was a pricey. It's one of the pricier things in the store. It was $38, but it's so pretty. So this is the Clio Professional Art Highlighter in Pearl White. But can we have a moment for this packaging? It looks like that. Just so pretty. I don't know who this one is supposed to be. What is on my hand? I don't know who that one is supposed to be, but some of them had like Audrey Hepburn on them and that sort of thing like in the different shades. So this, I am wearing this on my cheeks today. I closed that completely behind me. I felt like it was changing the coloring. So that is what it looks like. I don't know that if I put it on the back of my hand, I will. Oh yeah, you might be able to see a little bit. So this is just, this like, I'm trying to think, I think Paul said when, after um, David applied it on my face while we were shopping, he, he said just like breathe life back into my face. My makeup had been on for well over 12 hours and he just, first we put it right here, which is where I'm, you know, where you would normally put highlighters, where I'm wearing it today. Just fixed my earring and if it was like that the whole haul, I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> it's the little things that drive me crazy. So anyway, he put it right here and it, you know, lit up and he's like, well, let's just try. I mean, it's the end of the day. You're just going back to the hotel anyway. So he kind of put it all over my face and it just really brightened up my whole face. And it's, it's a really neat product. Again, pricey, but I mean, it's so pretty just to have sitting out. I just, I absolutely love it. I can see a lot of my friends that really dig packaging, liking that purely for the packaging. So there's that. Then um, we... They have these little things, and I was wearing one of these in my Instagram post. So for those of you that saw the Instagram post and want to know what was on my eyes, this is it. It's the Holy Deep Jewel Pot. So it looks like this. The product is like this. And it's a pressed pigment. There's some definite glitter in these. So not I know not all of you guys will appreciate that. But it has a little stopper sort of thing in it that's kind of tricky to grab out. This is not the one I was wearing. This is a different one. This is the one in Be Jealousy. Again, I'm not there. Maybe that's a good shade. It's hard to tell in the viewfinder if I'm getting a good, you know, and it ha it's just the most interesting texture. And then this is be trendy. Ugh. This is so pretty. We sat there and used Q-tips to kind of dig it out because it's kind of hard to swatch within here. And um, we played with all of them and then ended up, you know, choosing these two. And they were under $20, more than $15. I feel like maybe they were $18, something like that. But that is that one. Again, that one is B, what is it, B Trendy? Mm, you guys, look at that. So pretty. So I wore that. It did not crease at all, and I was surprised. I was quite convinced that it was going to crease on me, and it didn't at all. So I paired that B Trendy with that Milani eyeshadow prime, or eyeshadow palette in Earthy Elements, and so, so pretty. So poor Paul, who was pretty much bored out of his gourd most of the time, he was on the other side of this sort of like kiosky thing, like low kiosky thing that we, when we were swatching these. And he said, well, here, look, there's some eyeliners over here. So these are the Gel Presso Waterproof Pencil Gel Eyeliners. So the packaging looks like this. And these things stay put. I've tested both of these. So the first one that he picked out is in Golden Khaki. And I love the shade. Love it. I wore it the other day. Hopefully you guys can see that that is a really pretty khaki shade olive khaki like army green like stunning and I just it stayed in my waterline and didn't on my upper waterline I tight lined with it and it didn't transfer down and then the other one is in bloody devil I don't love the name so much but the shade I don't think I have anything like this I have a, an intense aubergine from Clinique but this is deeper than that it's not quite plum it's oh it's really really pretty and it's like I said I don't think I have anything in my collection like that 
I had to get those, I'm trying to get those off right away. That green was on longer than the wine. It's giving me a hard time. They really, they really, really stay put. So I'll list that website below. Check it out. There's some really cool stuff there. And it was fun to kind of look at products that um, I don't have access to. And now, my friends, we come to the IMATS haulage. I did not buy very much in regard to items. I did, however, I spent a little bit more than I intended to spend. And I will show you why with the very first thing that I purchased. So when I went there, I... As I said on my Instagram post, I beelined it for the Beautylish booth because I wanted to see the Natasha Denona stuff in person and I wanted to hug my friend Trisha from A Glittery Life. If you guys aren't familiar with her, I will list her below. Um, she's just, she and I have been, you know, friends off of YouTube for a long time and I just really wanted to. She was working, she freelances for Beautylish and knows the Natasha Denona products inside and out and she knows tons of products inside and out and I just really wanted to meet her and I had a really good time doing that. So. Um, I did buy one of the big palettes. I did not go in intending to buy it. I have to tell you, <laughs> I blame Trisha, but, um, I ended up getting the blue purple one, which is not the one I would have thought I would have gotten. I do have a couple of the quints and a lot of the shades in those quints were in the other palette. So I decided to go ahead with this one. I will not swatch all of these on my Snapchat last night. I had them all swatched on my arm and was showing everybody, but um, at some point, if you guys want me to do a video on this, this is not one I can do a four looks one palette with because there are no transition colors, really no brow bone shades. This is not, this is something that like today I'm wearing this actually. So today I'm wearing this shade right here all over my lid and then this shade in the crease. And then I used the Naked Basics palette to go along with it. So if I did a Four Looks One palette with this, it would have to be Four Looks Two palettes. I would have to bring other things into it. But I'm really happy with this. I wasn't going to do it, but I'm really happy with it. Okay, the other thing that I got from the Beautylish booth, I actually ordered there, but they didn't have it there. They sent it to me. Is this, um, not meaning they shipped it to me. I paid for it. Um, is the new by Terry Sun Design palette. And I got the one, the lighter of the two. Light and tan vibes is what it is. And I have not even swatched this yet, um, but it looks like that. So, so pretty. And that little by Terry, those words by Terry are actually pressed into it. So I will play with this and, and let you guys know for sure. It was a pricey item. Uh, it's very, very pretty. And, um, you know, <laughs> sometimes you get caught up in the moment. And I was like, originally when I saw these, I was like, oh, those are pretty, but I'm not going to get one. But then when I saw more pictures of it, I was like, oh, maybe I am. So I will let you guys know on that. And then, um, then I met up with Jen from Jen Loves Reviews. And she and I have watched each other for years. And again, <laughs> it's just so nice. You know, she is one of those people that when I met, it was like we've known each other for years and years and years. And we walked around IMATS together and just had a really good time. We have a lot of um, the same subscribers. We met a couple of people that watched both of us. And um, anyway, she had been told about this and I had not heard a thing about this, but I was like, okay. So it's the Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadows in Holy Grail. It's the, the palette in Holy Grail. And uh, look at those. This one is definitely a four looks, one palette waiting to happen. And, um, by the way, and you'll see this in the vlog too, um, Jen and I are going to collab on a four looks, one palette. Not this one, but we're going to collab on a four looks, one palette. So I'm really excited to, I don't know why we didn't pick this one. We probably should have, but we're, we're going to do another one that will be a surprise. Uh, at any rate, <laughs> I'm really excited to play with this. I swatched this on Snapchat last night as well. Um, one other... Natasha Denona products that I picked up is one of the lip glazes and I picked, I grabbed the one in plum and just wait till you guys see this. All right. So, so it looks so sticky. I've not worn it yet at all, but I'm going to just one swipe. Are you kidding me? I have to say, I don't love the brush. It's kind of all over the place. So I'm not sure about that, but, um, the product itself is really pretty, really, really pretty. So I love that. As far as the shade, I mean, I love that. We'll have to see how it wears and that sort of thing. And then lastly, but certainly not least, and who God bless you if you're still with me. Um, there's a new brush company, not new to me, I should say. And I'm going to pull these out of their plastic things. And Trisha's familiar with them. And she took me over the over to the booth so that I could, you know, see the product and that sort of thing. And they had a good, a good deal at the show on their brushes. So I purchased four of them. And the company is called Smith Cosmetics. 
And so that is the brand right there. If I can find stuff, I will, I will link below. Does it look like it does have a, they do have a website, Smith Cosmetics, <laughs> Smith Cosmetics .com. So I picked up four brushes the, and they, they're, they're, they feel nice in the hand and that sort of thing. So we'll see. This is the 115 and it's their foundation brush. Kind of reminds me, I don't have it, but it reminds me of the Tom Ford foundation brush or that cover effects one. And then this one I felt was was unique. So it's a crease brush, but a tinier crease brush kind of reminds me of this MAC one I have similar to this, but this is unique. I think it's, it will work well for smaller eyes and it's the Smith tooth. Uh, they're both, they're all Smith 230. So see how tiny that is. And then these they call, I think the arrowhead brushes and they were again, unique. So I, I grabbed a big one and a small one. This is the 256. Just like that. And then this is the 253. Small, I thought inner corner, even kind of up, you know, like your problem, that sort of thing. So, and that, my friends, is everything. My coffee is cold. I have no time, no long, uh, no idea how long I've been recording. I think it's been about 45 minutes. Fortunately, a lot of that is swatching time that I cut out for you guys. So you don't have to sit, sit around while I'm swatching. Uh, I think that I have told you most of what I have on my face, except for today for foundation, I have the Natasha Denona Face Glow Foundation. And a little bit of Chanel Translucent over the top of that. I have Cargo Tonga as my blush, which looks like this if you have not seen that before. I told you it's the YSL Lip Natasha Denona palette on my eyes. I think that's everything. So, um, and I will list it below. Um, everybody always asks about these earrings when I wear them. These are from Jewel Mint from eons ago. So I'm not sure where or if you could get them anymore, but I wanted to mention that. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will talk about this in my blog, but thank you to those of you that came out for the meetup. That was also amazing. Um, the, the trip was, was great and a whirlwind, and I would do it again in a heartbeat. Not anytime soon, because that city is... Whew! Um, all right. So, so again, I will stop rambling. Thank you for watching, and in everything that you do, be beautiful. Bye!